Hey guys, it's Car Guy 11. I'm on Woodward Avenue in Detroit, Michigan for the 2023 Woodward Dream Cruise. Super excited, I've never gone before. I've always wanted to go. And it's actually my birthday weekend, so my girlfriend and I decided to drive up, check it out. But as you can hear and see, there's people everywhere. There's cars everywhere. And uh, it's starting in Pontiac, Michigan. I, I'd say that section of Woodward is where it really uh, gets populated. But yeah, we're just driving up Woodward now, checking it out, seeing where to stop. Oh, there's Ford over there. Looks like. Oh. Stop over there. Make some noise. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Do some cracks. Oh my gosh. Those are the biggest dubs I've ever seen. 32 inch. They, it's marked in the window. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, guys, got out, parked the car, walking around a little bit, and this is the Ford 120 display. I'm not exactly sure what that means. I guess 120 years, but it's cool. They have classic Broncos, classic Mustangs. They have the GTs in front of me here, and they even have Mach-E, so I'm gonna go around, film a little bit. Uh, this is an old uh, Ford. I'm not sure what it is, actually. All right, guys, I'm in front of the new 2024 seventh generation Mustang. This is actually my first time seeing it in person. I know it's it's been revealed a while ago at this point. This is also the dark horse. So up front here, you could distinguish it by the dark plastic under the headlights. I actually don't like it though. Um, it, it looks a little cheap to me and it's uh, gray plastic, not the black that's on the front. So guys, you can see the difference with the regular GT. I like it much better with the body color under the headlights here where the dark horse has this goofy plastic surround. <laughs> Tell me what you guys think of it in the comments below. You got the hood scoop here with the graphics on the hood. That does look pretty cool. This actually reminds me of Camaro though. Camaro does that front uh, hood scoops. And I actually, I think like the old style that were up along here. And if you guys remember, I own a sixth generation Mustang when it first came out in 2015, just for a week though. So um, the side profile looks much the same. Basically, the front and rear ends are going to be your most distinctive. These are 19-inch tires, front and rear, 275 40s on the rear. And then on the back here, you see the distinctive cut line through the taillights. You got their dark horse badge. Uh, it is distinctive. That really doesn't bother me. I, I guess I kind of like it. You got quad exhaust as well dual mode exhaust with the flaps in it and then on the inside here it's hard to see through the window but i do see the dual screen it looks pretty well integrated so that doesn't bother me too much otherwise it's a very similar interior than the sixth generation so yeah that's a short look at this new seventh generation mustang let me know in the comments what you think of it First, you got the Mach-E sitting next to the regular Mustangs. And guys, this is the new Ranger Raptor. I also haven't seen the Ranger in person, but I really like it. It, it looks much more aggressive, wider. Of course, we never got the Raptor version of the Ranger in the US, but now we do, so very cool. So guys, this is pretty much it. It's like a parade with car shows along the street. People everywhere, cars everywhere. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna end the video off here. 
we're in the Birmingham section of Detroit and it looks like it's starting to lighten up. There was a Supra just in front of me. I don't know if you caught that, but otherwise, oh, there's another one right here to the left of me. All of a sudden, all these Supras. Otherwise though, I didn't see any and a lot of people did appreciate my car. I didn't even say what I was driving, but yeah, I am driving a Supra today. But anyway, guys, have you been to the Woodward Dream Cruise? I think it's worthwhile to check it out if you have never have. And this is certainly my first time and it is a really cool event. So if it's good weather, I, I definitely think it would be nice. Um, it it's, it's goes for miles and miles that so you definitely can't see it all. And it's just a big parade on Woodward Avenue. That's basically what it is, both directions too. Uh, I actually have just been going in one direction uh, north, uh, but haven't gone the southern direction at all yet. So, but anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you in the next one.